Hey everyone, I'm Lincoln Parks. Welcome to the I'm Local podcast. In a world where big corporations dominate the market, it's easy to forget about the unique and vibrant businesses that make our communities thrive. That's why I created the I'm Local podcast, a podcast dedicated to showcasing the incredible stories and contributions of local businesses just like yours. Each episode, I'll be diving into the heart and soul of a different local business. We'll hear from the passionate entrepreneurs behind the scenes as they share their personal journeys, their business philosophies, and the challenges and triumphs that make ownership so rewarding. Whether you're a longtime resident looking to rediscover the hidden gems in our own backyard or an aspiring entrepreneur seeking inspiration and guidance, I'm Local is here to connect you with the stories that matter most. So buckle up, get ready to be inspired, and join me as we explore the fascinating world of local businesses on I'm Local. Well, welcome, guys. I want to welcome you to the I'm Local podcast, where we feature local entrepreneurs and business owners. Today, I'm privileged to have Miss Artavia Taylor on with me today. Artavia, welcome to the podcast. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. Um, thank you for asking. I'm super excited to be on your show this morning. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I, great to have you on. So, you know, I, I, I look... I, w- I want to find out right out the bat. Okay. I see uh, you, you have here healing and Zen experience. So yeah. th- that that could mean a lot, you know, so just, uh, just explain to us a little bit about what you do, who you are, what you do. Okay. I am Ortega Taylor, as he introduced. Um, I am a licensed massage therapist, have been for over 13 years. Um, my business is Healing and Zen Experience. Uh, I created an acronym uh, because my great grandfather nicknamed me. And so I am Hayes. I- I'm the business. And I created yes. an acronym that says Healing and Zen Experience, where you can come and experience healing um, in a tranquil and peaceful environment. Um, hmm. You experience wholeness in your body the natural way. And so that's what Healing and Zen Experience is all about. Um, it's about me being able to utilize a gift that I was given to make people feel better in their bodies. Oh, that that sounds great. I mean, uh, uh, Healing and Zen, anytime you say that, you know, we get excited. So, yeah. all right. So, so, so tell me what, what, what types of services or, or, or things that you do, you know, at your, uh, at your business? Um, I do. It's total massage therapy, um, sometimes counseling. It can be a, a variation of both. I do all modalities. Um, I see from cancer patients to mm. athletes to um, the day to day nine to five workers, um, just a, a broad children, youth that's active in sports. Um, and I say counseling um, because also it can be a counseling session sometimes. Sometimes they just book a just to be counseled because they're just so stressed out and they just need to release it. And so I created an atmosphere where you're comfortable enough to come in and trust me enough to just release it all there. And that's mm. where it's so. mm. that's, that's powerful because, you know, when you have the ability to, to relax and yeah. at the same time, you know, you're, 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 you're getting your body worked on, you're getting your mind worked on. And, you know, you're, like you said, people are able to break down, you know, everything that's been going on in their life and sit down and talk to you where you could help guide them along the way. I mean, that that's that's just so powerful. Um, and, and I'm glad that we're having this conversation. So I wanted to ask you, like, you know, what has been like maybe a challenge uh, that you've had to face, you know, when starting your business? Uh, believe it or not, I, I didn't experience too many challenges. It was just trying to find, get the right location. Um, I actually yeah. had a location in mind. I was going to move in Stockbridge area and um, it fell through. Like the day I was supposed to go sign the lease, it fell through. And then the location that I'm at just kind of like, I, I can't not say it, but it's like God just allowed, it just appeared. It was like, this is the place for you. <laughs> yes, yes. So that's the, the only challenge I face, um, everything else, to be perfectly honest, it was smooth sailing. Um, yes. I think the biggest challenge that I am facing now is uh, finding reliable good help. Um, unfortunately, mm. help is hard to find in this dispensation of life. <laughs> like, yes, yes. I, and I understand. I, I know uh, COVID did that to a lot of people. 
you know, where, uh, you know, a lot of people just 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 stay at home. A lot of people don't even want to work. So I, I know it's difficult to, to find work. So if you guys are listening to this podcast, you're watching this podcast, go and work with Miss uh, 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 Artavia Taylor, please, because, look, she 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 will look not only I believe and this is my belief, not only are you going to have a great working environment. But you're also going to be counsel as well while you're there. And, and, and the knowledge that you're going to get from her is, is going to be imparted on you. So I'm just putting a plug in for your business right now. So, you know, those people that are listening and watching that they could, you know, just come over there, support you and, and also get some good work because I know you need it. Yeah. yeah. So now tell me about um, maybe one of the highlights uh, that you've had in business that really stand out for you. I, my highlight is um, since I, I I actually if if you don't mind I can just go back a little bit I yeah. moved here years ago and worked at another office and I stepped out on faith um, actually mm-hmm. it first to be two years and so the highlight of my business is that um, there's not a day that I haven't had that I haven't been filled um, mm-hmm. it's it's been such an overflow like the business is continuous so it is very successful and so that's like the highlight. Um, Yes. I tell people that I don't chase money, but I'm just so passionate about what I do. And so it's just been a revolving door of people that just coming in like, you know, yes. um, I just want to experience healing. And so that's been just like a major highlight. I'm meeting a lot of new people um, in the process. And so it's challenging me to grow even more and, and um, putting a, a, a um, light in me to even expand um, because. Right. It, it's, it's needed. Like, you know, when you have an intimate personal business that can help so many people, it makes you want to place these little nuggets and these jewels in other locations. Um, so the highlight has been that um, it's been a revolving door for me that I have been continuously feeling. I do eight massages a day and wow, and I do it every <laughs> work. Like there's not a day that I don't um, do it. That's that's amazing. And, and and you know what? So let me ask you a question. Do you do uh, the massages like so you say you have athletes come in and you have, you know, uh, so do students. You also work with students as well. Yes. Yes. That's yes. great. That's great. All right. My daughter plays volleyball and she's, you know, after a long three day tournament, you know, she's, you know, mm-hmm. she's trying to get going. So, OK, we may have to pay a visit, um, yeah. get her in there to see you. I do sports massage and stretching because that'll be beneficial to her. Absolutely. Okay. All right. You 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 got a customer now. All right. We're gonna add to those eight massages. We're gonna add another one. <laughs> All right. So okay, you said that you've been in um, Henry County for about six years, right? So you know what 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 made the move? What what made what got you here to Henry County? I'm a native to Florida and just prayer. Like I said, it was a faith walk. Um, yes. I had been praying about what am I, I'm supposed to do. I, I did massages in uh, Florida for a cow practice office. So I saw a lot of questions and I was just in a place in my life where it's like, what am I supposed to do? What's my next? And when I came out of prayer, um, believe it or not, my screen was like jobs in McDonough. And I'm like, jobs in McDonough. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. Where is this place? <laughs> so three jobs came open and I, I sent my resume to all three. And um, the one that did that I did end up moving, like she just told me that she wanted to interview me. And that's all I needed to hear. And I just packed up everything from Florida and moved up here. Like, wow. I, truly, it truly is a faith walk, has been a faith walk and still is a faith walk. So yes. That, Move by faith, not not you know like hey I got family you can come up here and do this and the third it was just a faith walk he spoke it and I I acted upon it. Man, I I love that and I and I love your 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 faith in you know in God and 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 what He's doing you know I'm 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 also a Christian I profess that every single day so I'm yeah. I'm not afraid to say that I'm not ashamed at all. No. Um, so you know I I am so glad to hear that you know when when God speaks that you just. You just you, you got to pick up. You got to pick up and, and and move, you know, and, and sometimes a lot of people are, are very hesitant and don't move. Um, and 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 there sometimes things happen because of that. So being true and honest and listening to God's word, man, I, I'm, I'm so glad you said that. and You shared that. Yes, it makes all the yeah. difference. 
Yeah. It does. It does. So, okay. So uh, I want to ask you, do you have like a core mission statement for your business? Like, you know, w- w- what is that message? My message to people is just experiencing wholeness in the body, the natural way. Um, I'm a survivor of domestic violence. And so mm. um, my goal is to allow people to feel that ultimate healing within. Um, so often we neglect ourselves um, because we end up taking care of loved ones, things of that nature, and not understanding the toil and the turmoil it brings on our bodies. Like it really begins to break down. And believe it or not, yes. I'm from harboring all that and it's built up from within. So my mission is to get people to understand that massage is not a luxury. It's a lifestyle that you cannot afford to miss on, that it brings wholeness, completeness, and must, um, tension relief in your body, just the natural way. Everything don't necessarily have to be um, relied upon with medication, but you can experience wholeness and your body heals itself if you just take time to listen to it and allow it to do what it what it needs to do. So that's just the mission of just experiencing wholeness in your body the natural way, understanding right. the importance of massage, that it's a lifestyle and not a luxury. Mm, that, that that's that's powerful because you know there are so many individuals uh, uh young girls women men it, it, young boys that are experiencing trauma and pain and you know and, and and are hurting and have been through some things you said you know you've been through some things and you came through that uh, um, with, with with God and your in your faith walk and and that is that is powerful because you can pour into so many people. Uh, and, and I, and I'll tell you this, the, 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 these conversations that, that we're having here is, is, is not by coincidence, you know, God, God always puts these things in line so that it can be put out for, for other people to hear and other people to really, really feel. Um, and, and, and that's, that's one of the reasons why, you know, I wanted to do this because not only I, I wanted to meet other people, uh, and, and share what their businesses are, but it's stories like this, it's stories like, like what you're sharing, what you have gone through and what you've come through and where you are now and where you're going, that's going to change lives for so many people. So thank you for sharing that. You're so welcome. Yeah. So, all right. Now this, this, this segment here is like a, a, a rapid fire kind of segment. So, um, <laughs> I'm going to ask you some questions. Um, now, uh, is there, or do you have any hidden talents that nobody knows about? <laughs> um, I, I do. I, they call me a, a Jill of all trades. So actually, I do. Um, I'm a licensed cosmetologist, have been for over 15 years. Um, okay. I still keep up my nursing credentials. I um, graduated as valedictorian of my uh, technician class. Um I can fix things. I can create things. Like <laughs> okay, okay, you you have all the skills. Yes, I can dance. I can cook. I can do it all. Like <laughs> all right, all right, okay. So so look, I'm not I'm not gonna put you on the spot right now for some of these things. But guess what? Look, when we we meet in person, I get my I get my wife, I get my daughter over there. You know, you you're gonna have to break something out for us. I'll be like, come on now, you got the. <laughs> all right, all right, I see you. <laughs> Oh, man. So, okay. Last question I have for you. Um, You've been in Henry County six years. You know, you've been here, you're growing your business, you're building. Is there a local spot or a place that you like to frequent um, here in Henry County? I love to eat. I'm a foodie. So you may see me in a lot of restaurants, um, Crust and Craft in the Square. Mm. Um, Yes. are two of my favorite uh, freaking spots um, that I love. Um, and I'm always at Olive Garden in Henry County. I, I love to eat. Like anywhere is some good food, I am there. Um, Absolutely. That's just, that's just it. Like anywhere food is. Okay. I, I love it. I love it. But th- those were some good choices, right? Right there in the square and McDonough. Yeah. Um, love it. Those, those are great gems. And, you know, another part of this is just sharing your experiences with other people. So p- 
people may not have eaten there before at, at, at um, Macon Street or Crust and Craft, you know, so, you know, those are those are great spots to, to, to visit. So, um, Ortavia, I, I really appreciated, you know, you coming on today and really sharing and being vulnerable and, 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 and talking about your business, because I believe that, you know, the person or persons that watches this and really listens to it, they're going to be touched and blessed by, you know, what, what you shared with us. So thank you so much for, for, for coming on today. You know, it's truly been a blessing. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Well, you have a great day and, and, and take care. We'll see you next time. We'll see you at the office. Yes. Thank you. You too. Thank you. <laughs>